When I first started working with Dark Eyed Junkos, I was a postdoc at Indiana University. I was chatting with a professor and he said, birds don't have a sense of smell. So I thought, that's insane. But it turns out that for many, many years, all the way back to John James Audubon, uh, people thought that birds don't really have much of a sense of smell. Once he told me that birds couldn't smell, I thought, that's ridiculous. And I thought, well, I could test this. Mammals have lots of glands that produce odors. Birds only have one of these glands, and it makes this oil that when birds are preening, they put it on their feathers. I did a little experiment where I took preen oil from different birds and I put it on juncos' nests. And I found that if I put their own preen oil on it, then there was no change. If I put the preen oil of another junco or of another species on it, they actually reduced the amount of time they spent sitting on the nest. I have this one video of a female who um, was visibly I hate to anthropomorphize, but she was upset about the mockingbird preen oil I had put on her nest. She started looking around like, what is that? I would compare it to Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You know, somebody's been sitting in my chair. That's kind of upsetting. And then she actually picks up pieces of nesting material and flies away with it to get it out of her nest. So to me, that said, okay, they can detect these odors. <laughs> and I haven't looked back. That's what all of my research has focused on ever since. Based on what I understand so far, if a bird smells another bird, they can tell what sex they are, what species they are. So, okay, is this someone I can mate with? They can tell what population they came from. They can tell how similar they are to each other genetically. We know that most mammals rely very heavily on scent. We've always thought humans were exempt from this. We don't have a strong sense of smell compared to other mammals. What's interesting to me is that a bird's sense of smell does not rival mammals. But it might be kind of similar to the level of sense of smell that humans have. So if we find that birds are using odor for things like deciding whether somebody is worthy of being their mate, there's a strong possibility that humans are doing the same thing. We're just not aware of it. I like to do exciting new things that nobody's done before. It's very rewarding to me to find out something new. One of the things I love about being a scientist is seeing parts of the world around us that I wouldn't see otherwise. I like going out at sunrise and finding baby birds in a nest and holding them in my hand as I take their measurements. Most people don't get to do that. <laughs>